Hi, some of you have asked questions about how to solve the uh, problem for mass. If I have, for instance, 150 grams of hot water at 95 degrees Celsius, how much uh, cold water at some lower temperature, in this example, 15 degrees Celsius, do I have to add to bring the total mixture up to some arbitrary number in the middle? In this case, I picked 61 degrees Celsius uh, because that's the pain threshold for my hot coffee. This is obviously almost boiling and so burning hot. How much water do I have to add to bring it down to a temperature that I can not actually uh, uh, hurt myself drinking? So 61 degrees Celsius. So how do we do this? So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our QN uh, is our cold water and our Q uh, out uh, is our hot water. That's where the temperature, the heat is coming out of, the, of it. Uh, and they have to equal each other. And we can toss a negative sign in there uh, to, to show that one's going in and one's coming out. And we're going to solve these two problems because each one of these have MC delta T and MC delta T. Now, in the first problem, you were solving for C on one side. In the second problem, we're just going to be solving for M. So it's really the same as our previous uh, previous problem. We just need to do some substitution. So I have M for the cold water, and that's our unknown, times 4.186 joules per gram degree Celsius. And then I have delta T. If I want to go from 15 degrees to 61 degrees, uh, I need to... Uh, this will be going up by 46 degrees Celsius. And that's going to be equal to our known mass of 150 grams of water times um, our 4.186 joules per gram degree Celsius times our delta T. And if I want to bring 95 degree water down to 61 degrees, I need to cool that water by 34 degrees Celsius. Let's try it better. Degrees Celsius. So now I just need to take these two things and move them over to the bottom. So I'll divide by 4.186 joules per gram degrees Celsius. And I'll divide by 46 degrees Celsius. This cancels. And oh, wait a minute. 4.186 joules per gram degree Celsius. When we have water and water, our specific heat cancels as well. So I'm going to divide by 46 degrees Celsius on this side. So that cancels. So now we have MC is equal to 150 times 34 divided by 46. That's our mass of cold water, 150 times 34 divided by 46, and I get 111, 110.8. So MC, 110.8 grams of cold water. I would really just call that 111 since I don't have that many significant figures. So I have 150 grams of hot water at 95 degrees C. I add 111 grams of cold water at 15 degrees C. And I'll end up with water at 61 degrees C. And obviously I'll have 261 grams of water at 61 degrees Celsius. One more thing. If you're solving this equation and you're looking at two completely different objects or two different materials, in this case, both of these were water, but if you were solving for one of them being water and one of them being something else, like a metal or whatever, then obviously you're not going to use uh, 4.186. You'll use whatever number that is over here, and then you'll divide by it. You'll divide by it over here, but they won't cancel. They won't cancel. Uh, so this one will be the water, and the one underneath will be the metal or something like that. So you can use this equation for mixing water hot and cold water, or you can make, use it for mixing hot and cold uh, 
anything else. Um, but just remember that uh, while they cancel here, it's not going to cancel here when you move your specific heat from one side of the equation to the other.